Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have our next video in my Bench Milestones video series. As always, stick till the end and you'll see some throwback footage um, of this time that I'm talking about. And today we're focusing on what I learned on my road to a 350 pound bench press. So in the last video where I talked about what I learned for a 300 pound bench press, it was mostly that I was learning to not just max out all the time, right? And I was learning some intelligent training here and there because of weight training in school forcing me to do some sort of periodization along with I, I discovered my passion for weight training kind of around that time. It was that 300-pound mark that really got me into lifting weights. Now, at this point, we have to fast forward a couple of years for me to progress to that 350-ish pound mark. Um, the video that I'm going to show is from my sen going into my senior year of school. So this was like junior into senior year. Uh, I would have been 17 and I hit 315 pounds for six. Now, I, I'm sharing that video because I don't necessarily remember the exact date of my first 350 pound bench press, but I do know that at around this time, I was benching about 365, something around there. So I'm going to count that as my time uh, for this video, right? For that increment. Now, that leaves a good bit of time in between there, right? So my first 300 pound bench press was my sophomore year of high school in the spring. And this is going to, you know, the end of my junior year. So a solid year and a half at least, of training. And what you'll notice is if you watch that other video with my form, it was all over the place because, you know, as a lifter at that point, I had just learned to be passionate about lifting weights, but I had not learned to care about my technique a whole lot, right? I had, I had learned enough to know that I needed to set my hands at a certain spot, but that was about it, and it was just lift off the bench and go. You'll notice in this video, I started to slowly refine my technique, right? I was paying a lot more attention to where my hands were, so I was very diligent with that. And then I was also learning at this time how to retract my shoulder blades and keep my chest up on the bench. So as far as things that I've learned, that was probably the number one thing, and that was scapular retraction in the bench press and how to kind of protect your shoulders from injuries. Fortunately for me, up until this point in my training, I had dealt with zero injuries in my shoulders or um, really just in general, I j dealt with a hamstring issue, but we'll talk about that in another video. But as far as my bench goes, I didn't have to worry about injuries yet. So I was not thinking about that, but I was learning about form and, hey, what's the best way that I can add pounds to my bench? Another thing that you'll notice was I was starting to learn like that bringing my feet under me could help that arch and help that stability. You will notice I was on my toes, though, because I had originally learned that being on your toes could get that max arch. And because I wasn't competing in powerlifting, or at least I was reading that some federations needed your feet flat and others didn't, I just went with what was most comfortable at the time. And that was simply being on my toes. So overall, my form went through a whole lot of structuring during that time period between about a 300 pound bench press and that 365 or so bench press mark. The other thing that I learned was I learned to push myself even harder as the passion for lifting weights grew. And that at times was a detriment to me because 
you know, sometimes I would just push it beyond my body's capabilities. There were times during this time period where I was playing football and or baseball. And during those seasons, I would um, go to practice, of course, and play in the games. But I would also have weight training during school. I was taking the weight training class, which would have me do probably an hour worth of lifting. Uh, it was probably four of the five days of school. And then we had the, the fifth day, w- which was just running. Now, as I got more and more serious, so before this video that you're about to see, during that baseball season, I was going to weight training during the school day, then going to practice. And then after baseball practice, I would go up to the weight room and do some lifts on the side there. I remember running like the small of squat program during this time period. And I was just literally hitting my head up against a wall. And I did make progress, but I was pushing it very hard and my body was very beat up. So there's no doubt in my mind that I could have played that smarter. But what it did was it taught me that my body can take a whole lot more than most people probably would have thought and still make progress. And that was for the sake of wanting to get better. I just literally wanted it so badly. And I enjoyed getting stronger so much that that's what I was willing to do. And at the time, I was kind of fooling myself looking back. I was saying that I was lifting weights for football But in the end, I was like lifting weights because I really enjoyed lifting weights with the excuse of lifting for football, if that makes some sense, right? And then that final summer, right before this video, we had gotten a new football coach who really knew what he was doing. I talked about this a little bit in my Road to a 500-pound deadlift video, and he just taught us to push ourselves in ways I had never done before. So let's go ahead and check out this video. Like I said, you can notice I'm trying to keep my chest up. Notice I am still sloppy in some areas, right? My shoulders are not completely tucked by any means and I'm rushing the reps a lot. But overall, I would say pretty strong and great improvement between here and my first 300 pound bench press. So Overall, let me know, when did you all hit your first 350-pound bench press? Are you on the road right now? What are the lessons that you learned? Please like and subscribe as always, and until next time, happy lifting.